We've got Hamish on the show with us now, and we're getting a double dose of Hamish. Lucky us today, eh? Yeah, yeah that's good. Now, you had our producer, Jazz, very busy at my house on the weekend doing a few <laughs> projects, you know? And don't let, don't let anyone know that you're passing this off as your own work, right? But you could talk to it. <laughs> it needs direction, and that's what you did. That's what you, you did. It, it is so great to be here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as we know, uh, Easter's coming up in a couple of weeks' time, you know, and to me that's kind of the cut-off period for doing a lot of the outdoorsy things. True. Uh, so we want to make the most of that sort of time. Um, Razine currently has a sale going on. Woohoo! Fantastic. They're always good sales too. So I thought opportunity run down there, grab some paint from Racine and finish off those last outdoor jobs that you should have done for the last four months. Yep, that's exactly right. Okay. So, you what want, are the jobs? Want, what are the jobs? Yeah, I well, know what they are, but you tell us. <laughs> of course, it was your lovely home. <laughs> so what we're going to do is going to play a little video for you here so we can see our sweet Jasmine working at high speed. Oh, Ready? Uh, nice. Cool. Here we go. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, ooh, doesn't that look nice? Okay, so that's the that, finish result. Okay. These are the tools, paint rollers, rollers, roller brush, paint brush. So you get all that from Racine? Yeah, you can get everything. Now the key here is the cleaning down, okay? So you use the deck and wood prep first to clean yep. it off. Yep. Very that's important. It. it removes any contaminants off the top of the deck and makes sure it's a good surface for prep for painting. Now she's adding the hot weather additive. Boy, Crocky, she is fast. Well, I am. <laughs> now one thing I do know is you have to mix that paint really well with the additive, right? You do. There's a lot of stirring going on with the additive. Um, I, I think Jazz said about eight minutes worth of stirring there. Yeah. For you at home, it was four seconds. Okay, and then um, and then this looks really fast, but actually I know it's back breaking for <laughs> Jazz, <laughs> filling in all the bits in between I the decking, so many right? I have so going to want her to help paint. <laughs> yeah, she what did were a good you job. We were just having a chardonnay. It's yeah, you were. We were. We were just chatting. I right? was not there. Okay, what Jazz is doing now? She went through first and cut in all the um, the gaps between the boards, oh, I see. and then rolled in over the top. She oh. broke it down into sections as she worked, which is a really good idea. Now, some people might say, okay, it's going to dry off in different sort of points throughout the process, but yeah. here we go. Oh, hey, look, let's just put the second coat on, which is much easier, with the roller across the whole top. And then it evened it all out. Now, um, the colour, Hamish, I had to say, I, I was a bit like, oh, that's that's a bit bright, but I love it. I have to yeah, say, Yeah, the, the colour's it. seen it, and it's fantastic. Oh, here we go. Okay, so you, you have your outdoor table. Yeah, it was looking shoddy. Look at that. It was, but Jazz is very creative, and I really like what she did here. She put a little bit of her into it just for you. Yeah, she did. <laughs> and, um, and what I love is, we, so using the sea nymph in the middle, yep. painted those, so obviously the masking tape so you can make it nice and easy. But what was that um, oil at the end there? The well? oil um, is um, the, the a deck and wood stain. Which made, which made it come up just beautifully. Well, it, 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 it's a way of dressing up the, um, the timber that's aged. I, I like love it a lot. That. Yeah, and you've taken a shoddy table with a little splash <laughs> of paint and turned it into a something terrible spectacular. Deck. Yeah, yeah. And it, well, see, what it gives, shows me too is that you, you can paint a deck. You know how everyone always thinks, oh, we've got a stain, we've got to yeah. do this. Well, the deck would, had already been painted in the past. You know, Jazz got stuck in there and did some nice scrubbing for you, Holly. Marvellous yes, off her. And realistically, you were never going to be able to stain that again. So painting it and bringing some colour and some life into it was a great idea. And, and what was the paint again from Resine? Okay, it was Resine Cenove. Yeah, but what was the type of paint? Lumber Cider. So lumber cider is going to stay, right? It's you know. It's That's right. It, it is the the paint that you're going to use on the exterior of your house, on your deck, on your fence, that sort of thing. So it, it's a durable paint. Now. Painting decks can be tricky. Sometimes it wears off. Jazz was clever. She got some extra paint. She did. So you can do some touch-ups if you nice. need to. Nice. You know what I love about it as well? Um, thank you. Yeah, I can do that job next. Um, what I love about it is that, you know, you want to bring a pop of colour. How do you do it? Actually, you can just change your deck. And well, that, you it doesn't. And that took, uh, that was a day, Yeah, right? that's right. A day and a half with the table. Yeah. So an easy way. And I think the table was really quick in the, in the overall process. So a simple way to get outside, do something fun, a bit of a, an ability to express yourself, which mm -hmm. is nice for a start. Um, and she was very clever. She used the um, the hot weather additive because mm. it was a hot sunny day. And I, I love the fact that you showed us the preparation because I guess that's key. You can easily paint a deck, but if you don't prepare it, then it's not going to look it's, as good. It's not going to last as long. It is all in the preparation. All in the preparation. Because you're spending the time to do the work to do the painting. Right. So if you spend a little bit more time and do the prep work, the painting's going to last a heck of a lot longer. And everything you use for that project was from Rosine. That's right. Absolutely Brilliant. everything. Even the overalls I saw. <laughs> <laughs> How much paint did um, jazz use on Okay, Jazz bought a 10 litre pail, but she used just over 4 litres. Right. So you're working that out. The decks must be about 20 square odd metres because you get 40 square metres, you know. Per litre? Yeah, roughly. So yeah. so by the time she'd done her few coats, that's where we'd, we'd Any up. other tips um, for any painting projects over the weekend, the long weekend? We've got Easter coming. 
Uh, don't bite off any more than you can chew. Right. Because uh, there's nothing worse than seeing half finished things. So try and work things that are manageable. Because <laughs> I've been to people's houses and I've seen fences that go like this paint, 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 nothing. <laughs> and Forever. Then, then it's like, yeah, oh, we're getting on to that next week. We, we know that's a lie. Yeah, true. So try and take bite off something you can do. Um, and you know what? Try and be a little bit adventuresome. Jazz was really creative with the colour choice. It was really cool because, you know, it had to work with the chairs. Mm -hmm. And everyone's got a starting point. So the chairs were there. We, you know, wanted a colour that tone with the chairs and then to do something with the table I remember her and I had this like back and forth what are we gonna do what are we gonna do I was like we're gonna paint it white she said that's what my mum would do <laughs> I, love this, I love this weed no why well I like to take credit Jazz has done some wonderful work for me in the past <laughs> <laughs> but what I would like to say is if anyone looked at that video closely the uh, outside of my house now needs painting so Hamish feel free to come over I was saying, and you know what you can do it because Rosine have a 25% off at the moment so pop in store to get the most out of it for the long Easter weekend. <laughs>